Hey, Matt Collum here. Appreciate you guys taking a look at what I've got today. So what I have is a survival walking cane. Just made this. Wanted to go ahead and do a video for it, kind of show you the features that I have on this one. I've seen a few online, and this is one that I thought would be kind of cool to make because it'll be something I could actually use, you know, out hiking, camping, things like that. And I think a lot of people probably have thought about making something like this. So this is my version of a survival walking cane. Um, it's all one piece. It's approximately five foot. It's approximately, let's say five foot. I'm about five foot nine, so it comes up to about my shoulder. So that's about where you want it. Hands, got a grip there. So what I've got is uh, the top of it. There's about 50 foot, maybe even 60 foot of paracord. That's what's making up the handle. And that can be used, of course, as cordage for something, paracord for uh, whatever type of needs you need, setting up a shelter, anything like that. But I've got this as the handle at the top. On the paracord, I've got a small ferro rod that's attached to the end. I've also got a couple of ranger bands down the length of the paracord, just kind of keeping it there. And also, you can use those for a ton of different things too. At the very end of it, you've got this carabanger hook. You could actually hook a light onto there. Um, different things you could hook onto it. It's pretty heavy duty. You could use it actually to hang the stick if you needed to, but you could hang your water bottle on there. You could also hang a light, tons of different stuff. At the uh, next section, I've got about 50 to 100 foot of bank line. So you could set, I've got a 50 to 100 foot of bank line right here. So that you could set trot lines, uh, you know, you could use that as cordage, hanging up shelter, anything like that. It's pretty heavy duty, but I got about, I'd say about 60 feet of that right there. Got six foot of duct tape right here. You know, you can use that to patch up tents, cover wound, different stuff. There's a lot of different uses for duct tape. Patch your uh, clothing, patch shoes. So I got about six foot of duct tape as the next section. And then just below that, I've got some 20 pound test line, fishing line, uh, about a hundred foot of that wound on there. Got another strip of duct tape at the bottom, holding it all in place there. And underneath this last strip of duct tape, I've actually got a couple of fish hooks and a sewing needle. So if you were to have to patch something up or do some sewing, I've got a sewing needle and some fish hooks underneath this section of uh, duct tape. So yeah, that's everything on the outside of the stick. Like I said, I got fish hooks and a needle here, about 100 foot of fishing line, six foot of duct tape. I'd say about 60 foot of bank line, maybe a little bit more, and 50, 60 foot of uh, paracord here at the top. Now at the very end, down on this end, I've actually marked 12 inches, one inch sections. So that you could use this to measure, uh, you know, I guess if you call fish, uh, if you need to make some measurements of footprint, something like that. But this is a uh, 12 inches measured out. I actually, uh, actually engraved these in so that there's some marks there so that you can feel them also. And then I've numbered each one up to 12 inches so that you can have some little measuring. You can use that to measure footprints, measure if you call a fish, uh, different uses. But I just thought that would be something handy to put on the end of it there to have a little measuring device. On the back side, right here, on the back side of it, I actually have an indention I put in here. This is more like to pull pots out of a fire, so you could hook your handle on there. So if you needed to lower something into a fire or pull something out without getting burned, uh, that's what that's for. So it's just a little hook on the end of it that you could use to pull handles and things out of fires or if you needed to lower something down into a fire. Or even if you had to reach up to grab a limb or something you couldn't get to, maybe you could hook onto a limb, but just something, you know, a little grabber there, uh, an extension, you know, five foot extension on what your normal reach would be. And like I said, it keeps you out of harm's way if you need to grab something out of the water or if you needed to hook onto a pot handle in the fire. So that's what that's for. On the end of it here, I've actually got a little uh, compass that I attached to a cork. So I've got a compass I attach to a cork at the end. And what that is, is actually covering a little hole 
and I drilled into it. So I've got about a six or eight inch hole drilled into the end of it. And on the inside of there, I've got some sinkers, some swivels right there. I've also got a few more fish hooks on the inside of it, a little bag. And then I've got some strike anywhere matches and a couple of paper clips right there. So you got something to start some fire in addition to the uh, barrel rod that's on the outside. But this is a, uh, got a string on it so that you can easily pull it out. But this is just a hollowed out end. You could put anything in there if you wanted to put some bandages or, you know, ointment, something like that. You could put whatever you want in there, but I thought it'd be nice to have a little bit of a storage at the end, just kind of for a few little emergency items. Matches, I think, were very important. I got the strike anywhere kind. And then, like I said, I just tied that off so that you could put the other stuff on top of it. And then when you pull it out, it would all come out pretty easily. I've got fish hooks. I've got some sinkers, swivels different stuff and it just slides right in there i put it in bags just to kind of make it a little more waterproof and then like i said i just used a little standard wine cork uh you could probably use something else you know you might could put the end of a cane or you know something like that on here um this was just what i had available and i thought it would work out pretty good because it's going to keep it watertight and then that <clears throat> compass attaches right there to the end so yeah that's what uh so yeah this is my survival walking cane i think uh i think it turned out pretty well like i said i could definitely make some more adjustments to it and some improvements uh let me know what you think if you have any suggestions or if you think there's something i could do differently uh this is just the first time i've done anything like this but i thought it would come in handy something i could actually use a pretty good bit and then like i said an emergency situation you'll have plenty of cordage duct tape fishing line a lot of different things so Appreciate you guys taking a look. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, click that subscribe button and uh, you'll have videos weekly. So, appreciate it. Have a good one.